What is going on guys? Wiser here and coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, it was an arranged matchup, kind of an arranged midweek matchup. We uh, missed our weekend match. Uh, unfortunately, we got this crappy, crappy farming clan and ended up just saying, hey, you know what, since we both kind of matched at the same time, we uh, tried to rematch and ended up landing it uh, against Spartan's Legacy, actually. And great, great performance by 2.0 this war, 85-82. Um, definitely a, a solid, solid effort overall by the entire team. Uh, really happy to... Um, to see to to see uh, this kind of these kind of results right because i see the effort behind the scenes and it's just so, so nice when it pays off like this um you know no uh spartans legacy did great i mean um for both sides um i'd say you couldn't have asked for much more they fell a bit short um i believe they had to use a, a couple more bullies and that's really where the difference came down to um but nothing to say. I mean, leaving uh, leaving one star on QC there really hurts. Uh, I'm, they they ended up in a position where they had to nail their first hits on the tens, and that's that's kind of tough to pull off sometimes. So, uh, anyhow, nothing uh, nothing short of pimps. You guys are over there, uh, Spartans Legacy. Thank you so much for the warp. Let's check this out. We have a TH11 triple. Love it. Um, you know, had a lot of six pack bullies here. Uh, Big Papa had one. Team Unique Kane got a six pack. Boom, boom, boom. We got 10 versus 10 triple, you know. So really nice success up top. And it was all kind of the nine set the tone. I believe we only need, I think we only needed to use one bully somewhere in there. I know Zerd's dip. There it is. Uh, had a dip on Ryan there. I think that was the only one. If it wasn't, whatever. No big deal. Uh, anyhow, just going to jump right in. I got a lot of attacks. Let's check out Mach. Of course, bring in the Mach 6 attack. If you don't know what the Mach 6 attack is, this is what it is. It's basically a Govaho without the go. Um, it's a Vaho using miners in your CC, and uh, the idea is you just gotta create the funnel, right? You're gonna um, bring the bring the queen walk. So Mock's gonna go ahead, pull out the CC nice and early, get the poison down, get the queen. Like the, the queen is not tanking one defense from the base while she takes out the CC troop, so that's absolutely perfect. Probably could have got away without the ability there. Um, whatever you want to be safe though, obviously better safe than sorry. Uh, so Mock's gonna walk. Now straight up here, and look at this kind of funky base design. These are like runways. I talk when you make these very long uh, compartments. That I feel like they're like runways for Valks and stuff. You just got to figure out how to get them, and that's a nice clean jump right into that. It's going to run things right up to the queen chamber. Second jump, bam! And see how this all pans out here in one second. It's a couple minions going on. Sort of close things off. Gonna go ahead and send in the kill squad here after that rage goes down. King gets out of the way. Jump spell down nice and early. Let's get that king in there to tank ahead of ahead of them. Get the Valks in. Start doing some serious damage. Still has a rage and a heal in the bag at this point as well. Valks, uh, sorry, the healers end up kind of relocking onto the Valks, which is absolutely perfect. His queen is just fine there working on the CC. Um, sorry, they lock onto the king, uh, which is even better. King's going to be standing out front. They do end up getting taken down sort of by this point defense, but whatever. Valks are in on the other side. Has now dropped these miners, and the whole idea, watch this. So after this arch tower goes down, a few, a couple of these Valks end up stuck on this wall here because of that... Uh, town hall and the gold storage but the miners start creating that funnel and they end up i just can't really call it a funnel but they push the valks back right the, the, those buildings are no longer there so the valks retarget and end up joining up and this little sort of uh snowballing uh death squad now is just going to continue to wrap around this base no healers left mind you but these miners are going to get really good value just kind of pop it in and out as all these uh valks and king are in there <clears throat> It's got to work through the walls, sends in a few hogs, still has six hogs. Look at like look what he's got at this point. Six hogs. Finally, he's like, whatever, let's just send them in. There's only an Expo, a Tesla, and a Sweeper to go in this uh, air defense. It's kind of in this interesting compartment. There's three bombs revealed. I wonder if there's a bomb kind of hidden in there behind the Tesla, maybe. But that's, that's what I thought, but obviously there wasn't one there. Anyhow, the Mach 6, beautiful. Sexy tree in the bag. So I've been talking in like the last few recaps I've done how Leo, look at this, six pack again from Leo. And guess what he uses? Leo is literally finding ways to Lalo every base. It's done slightly differently. All the normal different forms of Lalo, shattered he goes sometimes, just cold blooded, quad Lalo. Sometimes he just brings that queen walk and Lava Hounds. Like it's, he's making it happen and it's so powerful. Now the interesting thing about this attack Sorry, I'm going to pause this real fast. 
I I hit this base for S hit, and I basically had the same plan, um, the exact same entry, except Leo dropped his golem a little too far down. And then what that happened is all this stuff is focusing on the king. He loses his heroes very quickly. Like, I literally dropped my golem like two, maybe one or two tiles up, and it just stood there on the wall, which was perfect. Um, let everything in instantly. So anyhow, point being, I think my entry was way better, but I remember Leo actually mentioned this to me in the planning, and I didn't exactly understand the idea until I watched him do it what he meant and i was kind of already set in i i came in with my balloons and just started going clockwise i i wanted to just get this clockwise rotation sort of get everything pushing into the middle um but there's just it was just didn't happen it just didn't work there's just too much um i don't know it, it, it just was poor loon deployment and point of all this before i just hit play again well there we go is I think even though I had a better entry, this goes to show how much how important your loon and spell deployment is because Leo is spot on and when once he did it, I was like, oh, that's what he meant, <laughs> and it was it's just perfect. So instead of going this clockwise, look at this. He sends in the two first two hounds over at three o'clock. They're gonna lock onto this section here. Gets the haste down, few balloons in behind. Just the idea here is he just wants to get to this air defense. Once he gets to this air defense. Their job is done. And now their, their job's not done because the hounds are doing serious tanking there. But gets this air defense down. He doesn't really care about the 12 o'clock air defense. Then goes in with the one more lava hound at three because it's so easy and quick to get to. You probably could have done the same at, idea here at 12. But um, sends that stuff in and just continues to sprinkle balloons in from behind with these hastes. And now everything's in the core. And because this 12 o'clock... Uh, air defense is within at least range of that wizard tower and that tesla um the hound kind of sitting there in the air defense is perfect because none of these balloons are getting touched whatsoever this pops all over the base grounded expo doesn't stand a chance over there no more defenses remain other than that <clears throat> and just beautiful beautiful adjustment on the loon deployment there leo and uh absolutely smashed it really nice job buddy should take your advice next time Tree in the bag. Sexy. Let's uh, move on up. Life, another six packers. So many. A guy like the nines really did well. I think, I, unfortunately, we did have the one dip, I believe, but really good war overall. Life, as usual, one of our best attackers. Absolutely just wrecks bases. Uh, what I liked about this was just um, Baby Dragon Rank helping create that funnel. But very sort of standard three heel Govo. And, um, you know, I, I mean, just seeing these, the way you can break down these bases still with these old school attacks, sometimes people get lost in the meta. Um, you know, I was thinking about this before. And although, like, HGHB is extremely strong, I mean, if you're not 100% comfortable with it, don't try and just force it into bases. Um, I think HGHB actually might be one of the first. Well, that's not entirely true, but. You know, if your point being is if you're not comfortable with the attack, uh, don't do it. Don't try and force it. I mean, every base can be uh, really three starred many, many different ways. So always keep that in mind. Golem comes out of the CC, heal goes down, taking care of those Valks. They're just going to rip through that thing. As long as you have the heal down and the Valks aren't really hurt, you're, they'll be fine uh, with a Golem. But uh, if you do not heal them, they're in big trouble. Second heal now down. Now, remember, you brought three of them, right? So you're just going to start surgically, just to start deploying these hogs from the outside, get this sort of uh, clockwise rotation going, get everything snowballing, uh, work the Valks through the core here. Everything's moving in. Queen's kind of doing cleanup at the 3 o'clock. She's barely been touched. Both uh, heroes have their abilities still at this point. Base is 50% done. Hogs are now in on this deadly, deadly uh, chamber, uh, whist tower chamber, but uh, get the bomb singly, and the heal is down. So uh, taking care of all that stuff. King gets on over there, beats on through, helps the hogs out. Really, there's one cannon remaining. and such just a crap ton of hogs. Sorry, a mortar over there too, but no big deal. It's two cleanup wizards dropping them on the huts. Archer on the hut. Archer on the hut. Just perfectly planned. Out of boy life. Beautiful. Pretty sure life's German, I want to say. Um, it sucks. I'm, uh, I'm my, at least my heritage or whatever, my roots are uh, German. And I was definitely rooting for Germany, so sucks, man. But uh, it's good for Portugal, I guess. And I don't even really like soccer, but I know it's important in, uh, in Europe. But life, you're a beast. 
So was MK. I was talking today. I stopped by Swarm, uh, Swarm chatting to do a promotion or Swarm, the clan, <laughs> um, doing a little promotional video and. Uh, MK is one of the uh, co-leaders with his alts down there. And I was talking to JP. Uh, recently, we acquired some uh, power COC guys as their uh, clan ended up uh, disbanding. And there's definitely some uh, good relationships with uh, a lot of those guys. So uh, they came on over. Uh, nice to see JP and some of those guys. So we were just chatting. And uh, I was telling, I remember the day I first joined Invicta for my tryouts. <coughs> I'll never forget this. It was, I literally joined, and you're so, ten, like, I don't know about you guys, if you guys remember the first clan you ever joined, like, tough clan for tryouts, it's stressful, at least for me it was, and uh, <laughs> I joined, and everyone was like, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, and then the first thing after I got into line, everyone was congratulating MK, because MK had just made core, and I remember saying to myself, I'm like, damn, everyone loves this mk guy that's awesome like they just celebrate you know him him being part of the family and that really excited me and you know i was always like oh i want to be as cool as that guy kind of thing. <laughs> and i still do mk i love you uh i lo wanted to show this attack if you guys noticed while i was blabbing on is mk brought a stone goho here just typical mk you know what let's go back old school and use these runways like i was talking about before and if you can get golems nice clean jump let's let the golems walk up the runways and they're going to get huge value tanking so just let those love max heroes right work in behind take out the base really just have to deal with that tesla farm up there overlaps the heels his hogs end up pittering out here sort of i believe yeah just barely but it doesn't matter golem finishes off that tesla king's going to start beating through there's only an air defense to go clean up wizards working all around the base beautiful love the old school attack mk why complicate things when a stone goho will get the job done sexy tree in the bag all right this is another guy that's just awesome really love this guy Grady is in Argentina, actually, right now. I believe he just got there either this morning or sometime very uh, not too long ago. Uh, so he's going to be on a little bit of a break, but uh, we will definitely miss this guy in 2.0. He is just a monster. He's going to go ahead, send in the first golem, just get a nice wide funnel. Look at this. Just drops the four wizards, gets that golem, knows the golem's going to walk right over here. Grady's so meticulous. Baby dragon here, too. Drops that early on the um, army camp. Drops a wizard on this uh, builder's hut that's trying to be hidden over there. The idea, I bet he was really banking on getting that archer tower. I bet he was like, come on, but didn't end up getting it. Not quite, just gets one shot off. Um, but goes ahead, opens the wall. Nice, nice big funnel, like I said. Let's those Valkyries on into the base. Nice jump spell is going to go down uh, right over this intersection. Poison first for the CC troops. Out comes the P.E.K.K.A. with those Valks there. Don't stand a chance. Going to get that first heal down to right now. Heal, heal, heal. There it goes. Um... Triggers those DGBs, just Valks working through the very compact base, moving on over to those heroes. Down goes that defensive king, and in a second, it's going to go down that defensive queen. Perfect rage placement. Getting <laughs> It's hard to get good value on your rages with Valks. But when you do, it's crazy. Like They just rip through things like instantly. It's absolutely nuts. Um, hogs are now working in through. Like Look at the rest of this base. He's just judged. Like Hogs are going to be in zero threat whatsoever. No bombs. Maybe one spring trap between their defense and cannon it's the only real spring trap the queen's even up there helping out king is going to be through that wall in one sec and do some cleanup down there has a heel in the bag and let's not forget i'm pretty sure grady forgot oh i have a cc full of miners let's just drop those up there so in my opinion swag look at all the hogs. i don't even think he lost any hogs Three Valks, King, Swag Miner, Swag Heel, just crushed it. Mick Grady, come back from Argentina soon, buddy. We're going to miss you. Ah, all right. Um, let's get on to this 10 versus 10 hit here. Good old Iceman. Bring in the drags. Double Zapquake. Uh, this is, you know, as people try and defend against bowlers and really spread out stuff, um, 
without having a lot of buildings or value there for to suck it. Like the idea here is right, a rock from a bowler when you're attacking that is not going to reach that uh, inferno. So as long as you don't have any buildings around your inferno to suck the bowlers further in, they won't attack it. But because of that, something like dragons is double zap quake. You're going to see as soon as it like as soon as the drags get through this outer defense, which the infernos cannot target them until they're really like in this vicinity. Um, they're right on top of them. There's nothing to protect them. So the dragons just really get good value. They're really slow. Let's go ahead and drop a Lava Hound in as well on that one air defense. Right? So And look how far this other air defense is. He This whole half of the base, he doesn't have to worry about any air defense at this point. One dragon gets in onto that Inferno, and one dragon is enough. It is only a level 2 Inferno, mind you. But dragon's going to take that out huge pack of dragons in this core is just going to work on through still has two balloons in the bag suicides the heroes up top opens up the wall just so the queen can step in and watch the clutch queen here with that ability step up down goes that last air defense before even one dragon is in uh, range boom this huge pack of dragons locks onto the inferno tower definitely gg for this base three cleanup minis in the bag as well <laughs> They're just so slow, but doesn't matter. Swag the minis. Down goes the expo. Those grounded expos, it's so tempting at Town Hall 10 to ground your expos, but it it's deadly. That's that's all I'll say. It's very, very deadly. I mean, um, you just saw it. It, it, it. With double Zapquake and grounded expos, you could be in big trouble if uh, if uh, the guy can figure out how to funnel his dragon. So a lot of a lot of bullies in here, guys. So I'm just gonna show the one smashing hit. Let's just bring 42 miners. He's so got 35 built plus a CC full of them. <clears throat> Go ahead and drop a few healers with my uh, warden and my queen. We're gonna walk this queen into basically this section of base, um, hopefully trying to get, definitely get the CC, but trying to get that Inferno Tower would be so nice. Raid spell down, out comes that clan castle. Poison spell goes down, slowing those balloons right down, double that up. Queen's gonna take care of that dragon and a few seconds under that rage. Down go the loons, they're gonna step on in. Already has sent in, sorry, the king from the top here. King's going to do some tanking. Miners just funnel themselves right into this section of base. And you can't really see them, but they're there. Because <laughs> watch these defenses just instantly just boom, gone. Boom, gone. <laughs> boom, gone. Sort of, I don't know about the heal on the miners. I don't know the value on that. I might have rather brought a rage. Because um, they would have ripped through that stuff a lot faster. But Chris Rocks, who am I to judge you? You are an absolute monster <laughs> watch this king too this king is so close to get this inferno tower up here it's hilarious but queen's doing her thing finally gets that inferno tower with the help of the miners in there and they're just there's too many of them they lock onto that defensive queen down she goes see you later <laughs> like just unbelievable look how long this king has just been beating on this wall with the inferno on him and he almost gets it too come on come on I like how you can tar. I totally forgot about that now that you can click on uh, buildings while watching uh, replays. So close. Not quite, though. But it doesn't matter because we got a face roll of miners down here. We got the queen coming up with still with the healers all alive. Grand Warden in there. Full health on those heroes. Queen's going to have to work on a wall, but look at the sharks coming across the map. Bam, down goes the cannon. Let's take care of all these defenses. Bam, bam, bam. They just melt as soon as they pop up. They do split a little bit here, which is kind of good. You want to get uh, the cleanup going, and there's just enough of them. Doesn't matter at this point. Queen steps up. Boom. See you later, Inferno. And see you later, base. Sexy TH11. The face roll of miners. I think he rolls his face from right to left when deploying miners. Not 100% sure on that. I'll have to ask Chris for you. <laughs> Sexy. Tree in the bag. All right. So Great War 2.0. Um, couldn't have asked for a better performance. Uh, really. I just uh, I can't believe it. Um, just to see the work finally pay off. Because I know a lot of you guys, especially the, the Town Hall 10s that have been working on their stuff, I just know how long you've been working at it. And it just it's really nice to see it start paying off. So anyhow, guys, uh, going to call it a night. Spartan's Legacy, thank you very much. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you beg that next tree star. Till then.
I'm out.